Hi everyone! So on today's video we'll talk about the inhaled corticosteroids in the treatment of asthma. So this will be a really quick video and I'll just cover mechanism of action, dosage of corticosteroids and also what are the main side effects. Let's jump into it! So the inhaled corticosteroids they act locally in the lungs because we inhale the active ingredient and locally they will go into our cells and in the nuclear they will bind to glucocorticoid receptors and stop the production of some inflammatory mediators such as for example the cytokines then by blocking the production of these inflammatory mediators we will further block the inflammation that is present in asthma okay so mechanism of action out of the way what is the standard dosage for the treatment of inhaled corticosteroids? It is 200 to 400 micrograms of beclometasone or any other equivalent corticosteroid. So that's how we start it. Then sometimes if that's not enough to control the asthma, we can go up and the maximum is 2000 micrograms uh, per day. However, it's really important that to understand that we shouldn't just jump to such a high dosage because there are many side effects can arise from that so the maximum dosage which is quite safe to use is up to 800 micrograms of beclometasone or an equivalent corticosteroid and why so basically with when we reach these 800 micrograms per day we've got like about 90% of the clinical benefits of the corticosteroids without having such side effects because the side effects of the corticosteroids can be quite dangerous and we'll talk about that in a second starting by talking about the side effects one of the most known and irrespective of the dose is oral candidiasis and dysphonia so, the corticosteroids, they can also cause kind of a immunosuppression in our mouth and throat, so this problem can arise. So, in order to prevent this, it's really key to advise the patients to rinse their mouth after using the inhalers or even brush their teeth. Then, more serious side effects related to the dose, when we surpass that limit per day of beclometasone or an equivalent corticosteroid, are basically systemic effects, because when we reach that 800 micrograms, more corticosteroids go into the bloodstream and they cause systemic side effects. And they are increased blood glucose, which can aggravate diabetes. We've got osteoporosis, so enhanced risk of fracture, we've got impaired wound healing, there is also adrenal suppression, muscle wasting or even psychiatric reactions. And that's it for today. So if you like this kind of quick video talking about the drug class, just let us know in the comments below by leaving also a quick emoji, like a strong emoji, anything that you feel like and also share it with your friends or colleagues that might benefit from this information. See you next video, bye!